Hi, I'm Kate. I'm talking to you through a broken jaw and I'm starting a new campaign called A New Jaw. And basically this campaign is a plea for people like you to join me on my fight to get a new jaw and to pave an easier way for others going through the same thing that I am. Little backstory, I have a condition called Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. It's a condition that is genetic and affects the collagen in your body, so the glue that holds all of my joints and things together. So my main issue at the moment is my joints staying where they should be. Um, my jaw is the main one. So for two years now, I've had issues with my jaw. My jaw has been dislocating almost daily. At one point, it was daily. And sometimes I was in the hospital twice a week, three times a week. Each time I went, it got worse and it got worse, more painful, harder to put back in, required more medication. And eventually, in order to get my jaw relocated, I needed to be taken to theatre and put to sleep in order for it to be put back. I've encountered doctors that get confused. I've waited hours for pain relief. It's not because doctors don't know what to do. It's because doctors haven't been told what to do. There needs to be more education around Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, the diagnosis of it and the treatment of it. But more importantly, it's the jaw issue. So my jaw needs to be fixed. I have what's classed as a terminal jaw joint, basically. You can read into that. My jaw's dying or dead, whichever way you look at it. So my right jaw has a bunch of conditions. I'm not going to name them because we're not medical people here. But my right jaw needs to be replaced. My left jaw needs a different surgery. But aside from that, in order for me to go on living my life like a normal person, for me to eat again, for me to chew again, I need to have this surgery. I've had a lot of surgeons say I'm too young. A lot of surgeons say they just can't do it. But I finally found someone in Christchurch who's willing to do the surgery. So the surgery is long and it's extensive, but most importantly, it's expensive. There's no funding for it publicly unless you live in Timaru. So if you're in Timaru out there, you're lucky. Um, but if you live anywhere else, you kind of drew the short straw with that one. Um, and then Southern Cross, who have been amazing for my entire life. I didn't realize that it was one of the exclusions from my policy is that temporomandibular joint replacement. Therefore, in order to get my life back, in order to stop eating soup for every meal, oatmeal for every breakfast, in order to get my life back, I need to pay $75,000, travel to Christchurch, and have my jaw replaced. And it hasn't been easy. It's been two years just trying to get to this mark, this mark where I'm trying to find the money to get to the surgery. So my plea to you is will you join me? Will you help me fight? Because once I have this surgery, I'm not gonna stop. I'm not gonna stop and go, my jaw's fixed. Now I'm gonna eat. Trust me, I'm gonna eat. But I'm also gonna keep fighting. Because I've had messages after message from people like me, Alice Danos syndrome or not, it is common, more common than you would think, for people to have severe TMJ jaw issues. And you think about it, your mouth is pretty important. My issues have caused me to develop, redevelop an eating disorder. They've affected my mental health. They've lost me my dream career. And it's made life pretty dull sometimes. So it's not just, it's not just a, a bung jaw, it's a life, it really is. And all of these people have the same issue. A lot of them don't have the luxury of going flying down to Christchurch to see a specialist. They're stuck with the options they have and that's no funding, no private coverage. You can't out of luck. So I want to pave the way for those people. My fight should not be for nothing. I want to make it easier for these people, anybody. A jaw should be just as easy to replace as a hip, a hip or a shoulder. You need a shoulder replacement? Sure, which hospital do you want, you know? 
and it sure as heck is covered by insurance. But why is a mouth and a jaw less important than a shoulder? It shouldn't be. So I want you to help me fight the good fight. I want to get my jaw replaced and I want to make it so that next time I go and talk to anybody, they've had their jaw surgery done within the year, publicly or privately, and didn't have to pay a cent because you shouldn't. What price would you put on life? So I'm asking you to help me and all others that are going to come after me. How do you do that? You go to anewjaw.co. There you'll find the links to my Give a Little page. And you'll also find a mailing list. And I'll send out lots of updates and blog posts along the way so you can stay in touch with my journey and help me fight. So thank you for watching and I hope you'll join me. Also, this wouldn't be a video without me saying like and subscribe. But in all seriousness, I do have an Instagram. It's called at a new jaw. And that's where I'm going to be putting all the some more candid updates about my jaw journey. Because it's not all that it seems. Stay good. Stay <laughs> good.